Hey guys, this is Landon, and if you have decided to be an EKG technician, then this is going to be an important video because today I'm sharing the top five things employers could look for in EKG techs. Now, the traditional path to start your EKG tech career, it's broken. But the thing is, a majority of students still follow it. The path where you enroll in a full-time on-campus program, accumulate thousands of dollars in student debt, spend two years driving to classes every single day, and then pray that you land a job as an EKG tech. If you wanna make a smarter choice and prepare yourself for what employers in healthcare are actually looking for, well, hey, stick around to the end because we got something for you. If you're new to this channel, this is Certified Success, and here you'll find tips and tricks for busy adults to get certified faster and start the career of their dreams. Here are the top five things employers are likely to look for in an EKG technician. Number one, you need to be certified. It is highly recommended. Being certified could be the key if you want to stand apart as an entry-level EKG tech. And look, hey, I am not making this up. This is according to the NHA's Industrial Outlook Survey. Over 87% of employers encourage or require EKG techs to be certified. 87%. I mean, you can say that getting certified is almost a requirement at this point. If you're starting out your career and you're certified, oh, you are likely to be in a league of your own. Number two university certificate in the healthcare industry you'll find doctors and nurses always go to the best schools in the country university education has typically been respected in healthcare as an ekg tech having a training certificate from a well-known accredited university is best for your resume along with being certified a university certificate could build trust in your skills in the eyes of an employer Sometimes students make the mistake of enrolling in local classes that are cheaper. The problem is that some of these classes could be unaccredited or not prestigious. And when your employers see that you are receiving your training from a random place that they have never heard of, well, let's just say that they might be tempted to put your application at the bottom of the pile. Number three experience according to the findings of the same survey the majority of employers consider experience while screening job applications it is an important criteria and look this is true even if you are just starting out your career now i know what you're thinking how can someone who is just starting out their career have clinical experience but listen when there is a will there is a way and that way is called an externship. Through an externship, you could work as an EKG technician in a healthcare facility or a diagnostic chain, shadow other healthcare professionals, and even perform a few clinical and administrative tasks. With an externship, you get practical, hands-on, real-life experience working in healthcare. And you can cite this on your resume. They are gonna love that, I promise. Plus, as an EKG tech, you need to practice conducting EKGs on live patients. With an externship, you could do exactly that. Employers could take note of that, and experience is always preferred, especially if you have practical, real-life experience in conducting EKGs. That could be huge. All right, now, something important. Ideally, your training program should help you get all of this. Prepare you to get certified, a university certificate, and arrange an externship. Now the problem is that it can be difficult to find the right training program. And the ones that take care of all this could be extremely expensive. So if you wanna learn more about a training program that can help you get all of this without a big price tag, then I would like to invite you to take our EKG Technician Masterclass. In this masterclass, Grant Aldridge, a known education expert, gives you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to get job ready as an EKG tech in three months or less without student loan debt or driving to classes every day. You'll also learn more about an EKG tech training program that checks all of the right boxes. This masterclass could be life-changing. Oh. And did I mention it is free, free. Click on the link below in the comments to sign up for the free masterclass or go to ekgtechmasterclass.com. Number four, communication skills. 
you'll be interacting with patients daily and coordinating with healthcare employees like nurses, doctors, and other lab techs every single day. Employers could prefer to hire an EKG technician to have effective communication skills. Patients can sometimes feel nervous before undergoing an EKG. And as an EKG tech, your people skills must shine, especially when interacting with patients. You're not only required to explain the procedures correctly, but to help calm them down to ensure accurate readings. Plus, while talking with other healthcare professionals on your team, listening attentively, asking the right questions, and conveying information clearly is essential. Now, if you have taken a communication course or if you have handled projects before, make sure you tell this to your employer and explain how your past experience has helped you be an effective communicator. Number five, willing to help and serve patients. If you plan to join the healthcare industry, I cannot stress the importance of having the will to serve and help patients. Look, sometimes the hours can get long, emergencies might come up, and things can get stressful. In these situations, that willingness to serve will help you go the extra mile. So there you have it. These are the top five things employers could look for in EKG technicians. Once again, if you want a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to start your career as an EKG tech in the next three months, click the link below and sign up for our free, yes, our free EKG Technician Masterclass. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button for us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon, and you will never miss another update. So until next time, this was Landon signing off. Take care.